did you hear that? Did you hear that last night? An explosion! An explosion outside! I think we got hit by another meteor, Leia! We have to make sure and give Rowan a lot of attention now that we have Clover. We don't want any jealousy between them. Oh, Leia! I'm so excited! I can't wait to go ahead and see if we have another meteor outside. Let's whip up some more of that triple shot espresso ASAP so that we've got a little zip to our step. And then, yes, we do need to give the kids a lot of attention. Let me go ahead and see... Clover! Clover's sleeping. Where's Rowan? Rowan! Rowan, I need to go wrestle the Junimo this morning to make sure I get all of the golden quality crops, but I love you, son! Oh, can I actually give him gifts? That's a good question. I don't know if I can give him gifts yet, but maybe I can. And if that's the case, I'm totally gonna sneak him like an entire birthday cake, one of my, my birthday cake from yesterday. But we will leave a healthy food behind. What should I go ahead and leave behind just in case that we need something better for the family? Um, I could do pancakes. Can I do hash browns? Oh, I don't have any potatoes. What is that? I need to have some potatoes going, but we'll have some pancakes out. Not the healthy breakfast I promised, but you know what? That's okay. Can I give him a gift? No, no, no. Give to the child. No, no, no. Don't eat it in front of the baby. <laughs> just, I'm just going to scarf the cake in front of his face and not let him have any. That's not the way we're doing things. But all right, guys. Hello and welcome back to Mossley Farm, where we are now going to be dashing around first to pluck up all of the vegetables we can in the hopes that some of them are actually going to be gold quality. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. There's a lot of corn. Don't let the Junimo get the corn. Fight the Junimo for the corn. No, don't eat the cabbage. Harvest. This is not time to think about anything other than harvesting. Don't eat the cabbage. Go, 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 go. Don't let the Junimo get the corn. Okay. And then there's tomatoes. Okay. Those could also be, oh, those are a fruit. Pretty sure those are a fruit. No, they're a vegetable. Make up your mind. Why are some things fruits and some things vegetables? <laughs> All right. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Go, go, go. Okay. Phew. Did we get enough? We got five, six, seven, eight gold quality crops. Thank freaking goodness. Yes, and that puts us very much further up Pierre's prime produce, where we need to go ahead and get 25 pieces in 11 days to go ahead and hand over to Pierre. Whew. And our wrestling of the Junimo for the morning is completed, friends. <laughs> I will admit, having to wrestle with the Junimo every day in order to go ahead and get those crops before they do is so much fun. It really is. I just love the idea of like throwing myself down on the soil, like the dust kicking up everywhere. Their adorable, cute little confused faces as I'm trying to like wrestle these fruits away from them. Or vegetables, they can have the fruits. All right, there we go. I think the taro root is ready to harvest. So I should probably go ahead and harvest it, just in case. But alas, the taro root does not give us very many taro roots back when we put it in the seed maker, which is such a pity. Oh, and the seed makers aren't over here anymore. I just have coffee. <laughs> I'm so used to like our big pile of seed makers over here. I wasn't ready for that. All right, let's go ahead and put this away. Ah, <sighs> well. All right, friends, welcome back to Mossley Farm here in Stardew Valley. Let's check the mail. Dear Siri, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. From Demetrius. Thank you, Demetrius. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell the silver quality crops. There we go. We'll take the gold ones over to Pierre's today. I'll go ahead and sell a taro root. It's kind of rare still, but we'll sell it so that we can have... Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and sell it so that we can have it as one of the shipped items at least. And then I'll pop inside real quick because a beautiful mermaid shell. Rowan, hi, mom's back. Maybe I'm mom and maybe I'm mom and maybe like mama is actually Leia. Huh, that's a good question. Like who would be mom and who would be mama? How would we work that out? I'm going to have to think about that. Um, let's see, and then we're gonna leave the veggies in the veggie container because I am finally starting to be a more organized human being. I hope you guys can appreciate that. And we'll give these to Pierre. Awesome, awesome. I'll keep the cake for now. 
We've got our triple espresso to keep us moving and grooving. And then today, friends, we might go solve some mysteries over on Ginger Island. I think we may have earned it. After everything else we've been doing, I think we may have earned it. I want to go ahead and plant some seeds before we leave so that I don't neglect to try to tackle this little challenge that Pierre has given us. And I think we'll actually go and buy more radish seeds too. Pierre asked for like, hey Jade, good morning. Jade's doing good. Pierre asked for super fresh crops. So radish seeds he's getting because radishes are easy for me to snag. All right, and we'll wiggle over here and put these seeds away real quick. Oh, and the fertilizer goes up one. Ah, I'm so proud of us for finally being somewhat organized. All right, and I think that's the only thing we really needed to take care of on the farm today. We'll just run on down and give a little look-see to the fish who are all doing okay. We got some row, octopus and rainbow trout row. Nice to see how the rainbow trout are already producing row for us. Hey, look at this. This tree is at least happily growing now. This guy's still fussing. He's a fussy one. All right, the sturgeon are doing great and producing a lot of that sturgeon row that we can turn into caviar. It kind of makes me wonder, like, I won't move the sturgeon out, but it does make me wonder. Here, we'll move these in case that's what is making these trees fuss. <laughs> the trees are very fussy for growing. All right, let's go up. And then I think we'll go ahead and, uh, you know what, I'm gonna sell this for now. Except the sturgeon row, because I think we can turn that into very expensive caviar. Um, and then I think we'll just go ahead and go to Ginger Island. I think I have other projects that are like constantly scattered about the place, but I can't remember them at the moment. Like going to the desert and being able to trade things at the desert. It's nobody's birthday because it was Sam's birthday last time. And we caught ourselves a lot of those rainbow trout. So we're going to celebrate. Clint, why do you need a super cucumber to enjoy after a hard day's work? No, that's rude. Those are very rare, Clint. And hey, Pierre, good to see you. Good to see you. We're just casually going to drop a bunch of those in. See how it does. Yes. Working on adding in those crops. Hopefully we'll be able to complete this really soon. And I should probably do some more shopping, but I really, really, really want to go ahead and head off to Ginger Island. So let's get out of here. All right, hey there. Beautiful sunny day. <gasps> and look, our coconut trees are growing. I am so thrilled about that. That is going to turn out awesome. Hey, you look like you're getting into some good shape this summer. All that farm work is paying off, huh? Yeah, thank you, Alex. I actually don't have anything I could share with you at the moment because this is all this. Ah, I gave. <laughs> I was literally going to say all this triple shot espresso is for me. <laughs> and then I literally gave him one. Oh, well, at least we're being friendly. But all right, come on, Willie. We've got places to go. Ginger Island it is. Because we need to find more of these gold walnuts. And it turns out the gold walnuts, my friends, they do not grow on trees. They're actually part of puzzles and like mysteries and you have to dig them up and find them all over the entire island. I don't feel bad for being given that clue because it totally went over my head. Ooh, new little turtle farms. But apparently if you go, ooh, that's a lot of mahogany seeds. Ooh, more noodle jittle worms! <gasps> Ooh, that's a lot of omni geodes! But apparently, if you go chit chat with the Birdo, who is hanging out with. Oh, whoa! Okay, that's definitely so that we could plant things anywhere we want to now. That's so cool. But if we go and we chat with the bird that actually hangs out with the, like, orphaned castaway kid who's over here. Yes, another taro root seed. Let's see, anything over here? So we need to really like investigate every nook and cranny because I'm glad I brought my lava sword to do this. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh, this is so cool. This is what I live for, these kinds of mysteries. This is so cool. 
Okay, let's see. When dark clouds cry, begin your quest. So on a rainy day, to seek the fabled gem birds for each day, one north, south, east, or west, arrange their gifts upon my door. Gem birds. Fabled gem birds. One north, south, east, and west. Those look like different spots on the island. The shore, the jungle. I haven't been able to go to the other side of the island because the turtle's in the way. <gasps> Is this another? Yes! We found another golden walnut. We now have two more. And then this is the mountain where we can actually go and fight like in the lava ruins. Oh, this is so fun. So let's go ahead and check on this bird because apparently this bird will actually tell us like secrets for where to find more walnuts. Hello, little friend. How do I get you to talk to me? You want something to eat? Hi, kid. Hi. Wait, 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 ock, ock. Five deep in the water. Five deep in the water. Five deep in the water. Let's see. Smack, smack, smack. Smack, smack. All right, I probably don't want to wave this sword around and like frighten the kid, but five deep in the water. Huh. All right, well, let's go and we'll dig around. We'll poke around. We'll see if we can find some more of these walnuts. I'm so glad we have so much triple shot espresso, by the way. Let's see, anything suspicious? I need 10 walnuts to be able to get to that side. Five deep in the water? I mean, here are some fish that I could try to get. Look at those cool parrots. So there's some fish in this fish spot. Whoa! Hello, Wiggly. Who are you? It's a good thing I have the trap lure on. Ah, maybe it's one of those lionfish again. I wonder if the lionfish gives something cool. Because you have to come all the way here to catch them. It's a pufferfish! Okay, I really feel like a pufferfish should actually give you something cool. Ah, okay. So five deep in the water. So... This is really deep in the water, so does that mean you can fish some of them up? And I should spend a little bit of time fishing? Also, I need to put an aquarium in the house with like different types of fish for my kids to be able to play with. I wonder if some of the treasures that you can get from... Okay, my fishing tackle has worn out, unfortunately. There's a flounder. But I wonder if some of the treasure you can actually get in the water is these golden walnuts. And what I've heard, because I did ask for some tips, just legend and lore gathered from around the docks, you could say, is that if you do fight in those terrifying lava mines, then you can occasionally find some walnuts in there too. So I might have to go in there. But I do want to see if I can actually fish some up. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Is this another puffer fish? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, you tricksy fish. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, having that trap lure is actually really useful. Note to self. Maybe I should have brought a magnet. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, it's another puffer fish. <laughs> All right, note to self, I will give my kids some of these puffer fish and put them in a cool aquarium in the new room so that they can admire them. Okay, there we go. Oh, especially with these cool lionfish. Come on, that's really awesome. An aggressive predatory species with venomous spines. And actually, if Meg Aquarium, which is a really fun game too, has taught me anything, it's that the lionfish are brats and the lionfish will actually go ahead and eat basically everybody. They are aggressive, they're invasive, they're predatory. However, they would probably look really pretty in a fish tank. Just realistically, they would also eat all of the other fish. All right. Maybe I need to get a treasure lure and it needs to be like some of the treasure. I bet that's what it is. You might need to get some treasure lures. Well, at least I got a huge puffer fish. So at least we have tropical fish I can give to the kids. All right, let's get another 
Let's investigate elsewhere. Maybe there's like stuff I can dig up or more hidden spots like that little jungle that we found. What about this spot? No? Okay. All right. I might be able to check the edges. What about this spot? Oh, yes! Oh, sweet! I found another coconut! Or excuse me, another coconut, another walnut! And meanwhile, these guys are growing back slowly. Does that mean there's another one here? We have four! Yes! Okay! Maybe I can just fight through the, um... This spot looks a different color. What?! I was just joking! I just was like, hey, that spot looks a little different. Okay, I can't actually come over here. There's still some poor soul trapped where all those beautiful bones are. I was just joking with the spot that I hit over there. Jeez. Alright, what about over here? No. What about down here? Oh, I almost I thought I heard the little like rattle of the walnut for a second. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Six! We found six! So if I just found like four more, maybe inside this terrifying cavern. Ooh, okay, I think we could do it. Let's go ahead and grab pumpkin soup. I'm gonna chomp it down. And let's do this, you guys! We're gonna try it out! We're gonna fight our best way through. Whoops, facing the wrong direction. That's the. Yep, still facing the wrong direction. Siri, come on, this way. All right, there we go. And then, let's battle! I should have definitely brought some bombs with me. All right, back you go, little slimes. You guys are way too strong for your own good. Oh, but we got another one! So you can actually get some of the coconuts from being in here. We know the truth now! All right, back off, little guy. Okay, so definitely need to be very cautious though because holy cow, those hurt when they they get you. All right, so let's pull up the pepper poppers maybe. What's good on the health? The red plates, yes, I knew I've been dragging those around for a reason. All right, let's do this, friends. We're actually working on, with maybe with the luck up, we'll get more of the, if we're lucky, there we go. We'll be able to get more Oh, this is so different from what it looked like last time. Okay, let's focus. Because, yeah, maybe if we have the luck on right now, some of the drops we can get... <gasps> some of the drops we can get, especially from some of these glowy guys, might be... the walnuts. Oh my word! This is so cool! This is so cool! I am the best adventure mom! Alright, we got another cinder shard. Yeah, come on over and try to mess with me, you jerks. Alright, let's go back and see how far we can go. There's a lot of gold here. Alright, what are you, buddy? <gasps> Pineapple seeds! Also, that's a bomb! Oh my gosh, that was cool! Okay, so there's... Oh, you- so you can put the water down to be able to continue to explore deeper. Oh, and another golden walnut! I just needed to be bold and brave and strong enough to be able to adventure deeper into these depths, it seems. Alright, that little guy is trapped. And then, let's actually see if I can get this guy. Oh wait, that little guy is not trapped! Not trapped! Okay, here we go. So note to self, these little lava slimes. I'm gonna practice fighting on this guy. Okay. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that, f that guy can actually swim over to us. So I need to use a lot of caution there. Yes, we just need one more golden walnut. I wonder if it's the luck boost. <sighs> okay, okay. I don't wanna get too in over my head, but I have to say I'm getting excited. Because if I can get 10 golden walnuts, and like get those out of the way. So far I'm getting a little singed. I pushed a button. I pushed another button. All right. Okay, you sir. Run, 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 run. Okay, this is why the espresso is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
You guys, I just need to find one more. One more golden walnut from fighting all of these guys. And then we'll be able to go ahead and move that turtle. And who knows, in, in fact, I think we need not only to move the turtle, but we also need to convince that kid that we're not super, super scary, evil, bad. And if we can just do that. Run, run, run. So glad we have the espresso. All right. Oh, go, 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 go. Okay. And then is there anything else in here? Oh, there's one of those guys. Okay, those would be a little hard to fight, especially trying to dodge a slime. But let's try to defeat one to see what happens. Okay, I need the slime out of the way. Yep! Okay, and I need to eat a red plate real quick so that I don't end up dying. And we're actually fighting with a lava katana. Oh, whoa! We got a bone fragment and it turned into a giant pile of bones! Okay, so it looks like here in the, this dungeon... Oh, oh, and then we had to open this up! Oh, no way, what is that? That's a weird thing! Look at the weird thing! Look at how cool this is! Look how cool we are! It's a magma cap! What? A very rare mushroom that lives next to pools of lava. Like, what even? Okay, that's way too cool. Let's go ahead and eat this white algae just to get out of the way. Okay, we can totally handle this, guys. So far, so good. I just need one more. Give me one more golden walnut, please. Maybe where our luck is really with us. Is this iridium? <gasps> and there's iridium ore? Okay. Gold ore over here. Oh, inventory full. Nope. We're going to gather up some... Ooh, no way! It's one of these rare nodes. Gold ore and iridium ore. That was cool, but... You know what's even cooler? Being able to go ahead and... What's this thing? Um... What? What? <laughs> That's so cool! There's like some sort of weird enchanted machinery boss things that you have to fight. No wonder the other guys are bombs that blow up on you. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Oh, he blew his friend up. Friendly fire. All right, what about this? Can I can I do anything with this cog? Okay, no, that's just decorative. All right, we need to do a little bit more fighting in order to go ahead and unlock the full potential. I just need one more of... I just need one more, one more. Oh, our luck is out. So I don't know if our luck being down means we won't be able to get easy access to any more of the golden walnuts. What are you? <gasps> golden walnut number 10! Golden walnut number 10! This is not a drill, friends. What the heck? Also, I wonder if you need to find your way down like normal. Um, no, actually, there's more ways to go over here. Okay, how would we get out of this cave? That's another question. Normally with these kinds of caves, what you do is you like exit out the elevator, but there's no exit avu like here. Oh my gosh, Ginger! A, a forge, this sharp spicy root is said to increase vitality. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. All right, come here, buddy. All right, we took him out too. All right, I'm very happy. Now we have all the things that we need. We'll have to come back tomorrow, I think, to this lava cavern in order to continue our explorations. We'll see if I can push in a little deeper. All right. That's right, get out of here, buddy. And actually, are those things chest? Like the fallen, here, like, all right, we can wheel this way. Is this like a chest or is it just decorative? Just decorative, unfortunately. Okay. Meanwhile, nothing there. And then I need to get ready for battle on the side. All right, more taro tubers, which are pretty exciting to get. That guy's gonna blow. 
Yes, another golden walnut. So you actually get the golden walnut sometimes, even if it's just from things like um, blowing up the rocks. So that's good to know that that can happen too. But there we go, guys. I think we'll have enough to be able to convince Leo because we came in and used my special adventure skills deep inside of this mine. Like we were taking out some of the, the dark forces that might be taking over the island or whatever. So maybe we'll be able to convince Leo that we're cool and he can trust us. And we can see what little surprises he might have for us tomorrow. Meanwhile, that's how you get taro root, is you just collect a ton of taro root from being able to take out all of these monsters. So cool. Gosh, I'm proud. All right. So we'll gather up what resources we can from over here. I think we're doing pretty good. Um... <sighs> I do need more copper, but I need more iron more. So we'll hold on to that. And I'm actually, now that I have figured out how to fight some of these guys, not doing so bad. Run, run, run. Really excited to have the pineapple seeds too. Really excited about that. Those are absolutely going deep into, um, those are going deep into the greenhouse. So we'll have to do a bit of work in the greenhouse. All right. Oh, here we go. And a little bit more battling against these flame spirits. It's like Calcifer has run amok. Okay, come on. Come on, friend. That's right. Ah! Alright, give me some taro root at least. Okay, and then we'll get a little bit further. I'm really proud we've been able to, like, even go as far as we have today. I really need to bring some bombs and other things if I want to expect to be able to really push our way in. What's going on here? <laughs> okay. So note to self, deep in the mines, there's another dwarf cinder clown shoes plus six defense and five immunity if we have 100 cinder shards. These magic shoes belonged to a famous dwarfish jester. Oh my gosh. And we can buy bombs at this level. And Super Meal gives speed, energy, um, max energy, health. Also, the warp totem to the island. Dragon teeth. Where am I going to get dragon teeth? <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and buy that recipe. Ginger ale recipe from having ginger and sugar. That is so cool. And we can actually sell him things. So I'm going to sell him the gold ore. And then you can buy as many super meals as you want. Like what? I guess he just spends his time making those things here. I haven't seen a human here for many years. Well, I don't plan on staying too long, but good to see you, I suppose, friend. And I guess this is so you can refill your water. <gasps> All right. I am a adventure hero. I'm pretty proud about what we've managed to accomplish. Let's see if there's anything. All right, anything in the grass or the ground here? No such luck so far. Other than a really annoyed little like twerp de dwarp. All right, let's gather up more cinder shards. Yeah, this is fun. Who knows how far we'll be able to go. Ah, with me getting singed. Oh, that one's a little bit magic, so it actually managed to burn me. What the heck? Okay, there we go, another cinder shard. So we'll probably be leaving here pretty soon. Yes, another coconut! Or another walnut, I mean. Ah, yeah, we'll probably need to leave pretty soon. Because I think that my wonderful wife, Leia, is totally cool with me being able to go be a wonderful mythological hero and, like, destroy evil monsters as long as I come home safely at the end of the day. <gasps> Monster Slayer goal complete! I need to go see Gil for a reward! Man, Gil, you're gonna have some new tall tales to enjoy. Alright, we'll go ahead and get out of here in just a little bit it's now one in the morning okay come on I'll get this one last little guy if we'll come back over here come on one more uh oh he brought a friend oh this is so fun all right he brought a friend and he's bringing more friends ah okay let's let's go ahead and if I can just take care of that guy I am totally burned too 
Yes, okay. I will call it. And we're headed home. You guys! What an amazing day! I have all new discoveries that we have managed to pull up from a brand new place. I have mahogany seeds to go ahead and plant all over the farm. I'm In fact, because I have this new mod, I think I can finally plant some trees over here for Leia! Oh, we'll have to see if they'll grow. I don't know if they will. But we'll have to see if those will grow. Mahogany trees seem to take like donkey days to grow it all. Um, so we'll have to see if they work. But, oh, I'm passing out on the farm. I had a little too much excitement. <laughs> but all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Next time we are headed back over to Ginger Island and we are going to be seeing if we can move that turtle, if Leo is going to trust us now that we've proven our worth of being able to take on, you know, take on uh, doing quite a bit of work over there how's the kids the kids seem to be doing good take on the work of being able to defend the island and we will carry on with all of our other adventures like fighting the junimo for first crop harvest rights next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye <laughs>